In the previous video, we were introduced to bearings. In this video, we're going to combine that knowledge with other facts we know about angles. Let's get straight into these. We need to find the bearing of B from A in each of these cases. With bearings questions, always read the question carefully and make sure you know where you're starting from. So in these, we are starting from A. And we need to imagine being at A and facing north, and then we need to work out the clockwise angle we need to turn until we are facing B. So for this first one, this is the clockwise angle we want to turn. Unfortunately, the size of this angle is not marked on the diagram. But we know we've got a right angle here, and we know that this part is 22 degrees, which means the angle we're looking for is 90 degrees, that's the right angle, minus 22 degrees, which gives us 68 degrees. Now, remember, we need a three-figure bearing, so we say the bearing of B from A, in this case, is O. 6, 8 degrees. In this next one, again, imagine we're at A and we are pointing north. What clockwise angle do we need to turn so that we are facing B? Well, that is this angle here. Now, we've got a straight line here, which means this whole angle is 180 degrees. This part is 48. So the angle we are looking for is 180 degrees minus 48, and that gives us 132 degrees. So the bearing we're after is 132 degrees. Notice 132 is already a three-digit number, so we don't need to put in any leading zeros at the beginning. Pause the video and have a go at the last one for yourself. Here's what you should have found. The angle we're looking for is this one here, clockwise from north. We know a full turn is 360 degrees. We know that this part is 51 degrees. So the angle we want is 360 minus 51, and that gives us 309. So the bearing we're looking for is 309 degrees.